Hi guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. We're bringing you another key repair video today. Uh, we're working on an ASUS laptop computer. Uh, we're going to show you how to do the larger keys, uh, the space keys, the enter keys. Uh, they look a lot different than your normal letter keys that you find. Uh, so let's go into this and show you what, what it looks like under, under these keys so you know what not to break. This is a small flathead you're going to want to use. It's pretty much the only, only tool you need for key replacement. What I'm going to do, as with other keys, I'm going to slide this under the key cap, which is the top part, but I'm going to try to slide it on top of your key clip, which is the fragile plastic retainer clip underneath that we're trying not to break. I do that because if you were to just rip this cap off, most likely that retainer would bend with it and just break, and then it, it, it's unusable. So the idea here is to hold it down with your flathead while you're taking the top off, Nice and slow. Go careful because you can't see what you're doing. And you're just gonna feel it out and, and go slow. Sorry if that's hard to see. Okay. All right. Boop. Okay, so I took it off like this. I'm gonna set it aside right like this, so I know how how it came out, so I don't have to deal with that later, changing it around, finding it. So this is what a larger key innards look like. Usually with these normal keys, you'll have one of these uh, key clip retainers. Now you have two. Uh, that's pretty normal. Also, you have these ad additional parts here. You have these metal brackets. They don't snap off. Uh, you just take them out like that. Uh, these hooks are inside holes on, on these metal brackets. So you'll just slide that end out, slide that end out. Uh, and just like with a normal one, these retainer brackets are held in by two metal clips toward the bottom corners and two metal clips toward the top corners. In order to take those off, if you are salvaging these from another uh, keyboard in order to replace yours, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little fingernail in the bottom, and even though there's not a lot of play here, it's kind of tight, I'm going to try to push up as much as I can, give myself as much room, and I'm going to take my flathead and gently try to pry it out from under the top metal brackets. This is where you're going to break it, so go slow. Um, be gentle with it. Try to pry it off there nice and slow. If I can, here we go. There's one. There's two. Okay. Let me show you what that looks like. Alright, so that's what a key clip retainer looks like, generally. This is what I was trying not to break this little plastic nub on that corner and this little plastic nub on that corner. Those are very tiny and they break really easily. Uh, so that's what I was trying to pry out from under the metal bracket that was hold holding it down. Um, so yeah, so that's how you would salvage these from a keyboard. In order to put it on yours, you would go in reverse. Instead of taking the top off first, you do the top last. So we'll set that in there, get those bottom ones underneath first and then while holding it I'm going to snap the top into place snap snap so that's back into place luckily we didn't break it you're going to take these two or one sometimes they'll have one of these sometimes they'll have two in this case it, it had a third um, but you're going to take this you're going to put it back in the hole on top or in this case just one big slot for both of them Okay, once that's in, you're going to try to center it a little bit, get it ready to snap back into place. Do the next one. Get that in there, get that in there, okay. Let's try to center those now, get them pretty looking. All right, now underneath this, we're going to put this back. This just goes in the middle. I don't really even know what this thing's for. I'm pretty sure it would work w w without it, but whatever. Maybe I'm wrong. Snap that back into place. See what I mean? It's kind of useless. Um, and then you're going to put this on top, snap it back into place. It snaps. Like a dozen snaps you'll hear. So, there you go. Oops. Wow. More snaps. There we go. Okay, so now it's in. <laughs> Had to snap it like 12 times. So that's all fixed. And that's what you would do to salvage it and to install it. Uh, let's show you what it looks like under the enter key. It'll look a little different. It'll be the same, but like miniaturized. So same thing, get your flathead 
in between these clips. Alright. So yeah, see, it's kind of a mini version of what you just saw. There's two retainer clips, a lot smaller, and then two metal brackets, a lot smaller. It's the exact same thing that you just saw. And, and there's no one in, in the middle because there was no room. But you take these off the same way. They're the exact same setup, just smaller. So smaller means more fragile, so be careful. Again, put your fingernail there, pry those up nice and slowly. Inspect them to make sure you didn't break those little uh, plastic nubs in the corner and then you would snap them all down the exact same way. So no matter what large key you're doing, if it's an enter key plus key control, it, it'll have some variation of what that looked like. Uh, one or two retainer clips, one or two metal bars, and that's how you would um, salvage and install it. If this was helpful at all, please thumbs up and like it. If you like uh, do-it-yourself laptop repair that saves money, uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.